Howdy folks, I'm Matthew Street and welcome to my channel. Folks, what would it have been like to see the Beatles live in concert? We can only imagine, many of us folks, there's very few people out there that can say they actually saw the Beatles live. I have a friend named Tom who saw them live in 1966 in Boston, East Boston, Massachusetts at Suffolk Downs Racetrack and he has some wonderful memories and stories of that show. I also know a couple of other people throughout my life who saw that same show in 66 and I just would be sitting there in awe of the stories they would be telling me of the the wonder of my goodness if I only I could have seen the Beatles live never had that chance well the closest thing we have now is we listen to concerts on audio and well you know nowadays everything's right at our fingertips with YouTube and the internet and whatnot we can just punch right on there and check out uh, a Beatle concert or some live footage but the majority of it folks other than like Shea Stadium and maybe Budokan 66 most of it's in black and white especially some of the iconic shows some of the shows like their first appearances on Ed Sullivan. They made several numerous appearances on Ed Sullivan in 64 and in that one in August of 65 and they're phenomenal but they're in black and white. There's also something like this, the Washington Coliseum concert. Their first ever show in the United States before a live paying audience and it was it's one of the most phenomenal films you'll ever see of the Beatles live in concert. It's right up there, one of my favorites, probably in my top two or three favorite live films of the Beatles ever. It's just fabulous, unbelievable, the mania. What makes it so special is that they're playing in the center of the arena in Washington, so all the fans are around them. It's phenomenal. It, and, a, and a cleaned up version of this with the full concert came out several years ago where you're getting the full twist and shout and for the first time that I've ever known, Long Tall Sally, which was the show closer. You never got those before. Now they're out in great, great condition. The sound quality has improved. The visual is great. This is a phenomenal show and certainly the Ed Sullivan shows are phenomenal. And it's probably the closest thing many of us will get to being in the middle of the mania of seeing what the Beatles were all about live. But they're in black and white. That doesn't help. What would it have been like to be there, to see it in vivid color, living color? It just would have been unbelievable. We've seen some pictures of the Washington Coliseum. We've seen some pictures of the Ed Sullivan Show in color, still pictures. And we just marvel at them like, wow, it's just so stunning looking, you know? Well, we may never get to something like that ever again in our lifetimes, but we can come close, folks. Because I have recently pe the peaches, <laughs> peaches and cream, I've recently purchased a couple of DVDs that I love and I want to tell you about right now. The first one is The Ed Sullivan Show in Color, The Beatles. Check out this DVD, folks. Single disc, or, I believe, or is this the double disc? This is the double disc. Disc one and disc two comes a little OB strip showing some of the other titles you can get. There you go, beautiful. There's the back. You're getting all the Ed Sullivan shows in color, folks. The 64 shows, the 65 August show. Uh, appearances they did an interview with Ed in 64 you're getting all that good stuff folks all on here I will hold it as best I can so you can oh yeah it's gonna be tough but I'll try okay folks this is phenomenal now is the color like it was filmed like help you know in Technicolor no it's not like that folks I'm gonna be honest with you I would give the colorization of this a B it's good it's okay but for someone like me, who's never in his wildest dreams ever would imagine I could see the Ed Sullivan shows in color, I love this. 
it just, it brings it out, it pops more, it's just more, you feel more of what it was like to actually be there, even though the colorization isn't perfect. So, something to think about, folks, something to think about. Now, you might be saying, Matt, where can I get that? Well, I really don't want to be sharing the names of companies, or special companies, especially companies that deal with unofficial fan club only releases, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to do that. I don't want to get anyone nervous out there. I will just tell you, go to your common search engine and place in Ed Sullivan Show DVD in color, The Beatles. And you should get some choices and some options and check it out. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one I want to show you is the Washington Coliseum. The Beatles Washington in color. Nice, nice. Look at that cover. I just love that cover. Take off on the Beatles story from 64 where they've got the American flag. A nice picture of the boys at the Coliseum. You've got an OB strip. Okay. Here's the back. This is a single disc. Single disc. And then you get a few bonus uh, cuts here in color of them uh, from the Marseilles film. Uh, you get some, about six or seven different chapters of the... Uh, that film, uh, First U.S. Visit. Not the whole First U.S. Visit, but clips of it in color. And you get the entire Washington Coliseum concert. There it is, and there's the disc, other titles here. But folks, same thing with this one. Is the colorization like seeing Help or Sound of Music or, you know, Mary Poppins or one of those films from back in the 60s, you know, filmed in glorious color? No, it's not that level but it's good enough to really bring it out for you to really give you an idea even a smidgen of an idea what it was like to be at these shows to me that's worth it it's worth it it's worth the excitement it's worth the joy of seeing the Beatles in color albeit I give it a B it's okay color but it's good enough it makes me smile it makes me happy to see this I've always been happy with my original uh, Washington Coliseum and Ed Sullivan shows in black and white, they're fabulous. you got to have them that way in your collection. But just for a little extra oomph, a little extra, uh, it's so nice to get something a little different. Colorization, why not give it a try? The original films are not going anywhere, but why not give it a shot and see if you like it? And again, with this one, just plug in your search engine, the Beatles Washington in color. Uh, live at the Washington Coliseum concert in color, and you'll get some options uh, for purchasing this. They're really good. And you know what impresses me most about, especially this one, the Washington Coliseum one, folks? And the Ed Sullivan one's good, too, in, in this sense, but the audio on this, they've done something to this. They've cleaned it up or did something because it sounds fabulous. It sounds wonderful. They've just brought it out, you know, when Ringo's banging on that hi-hat during This Boy and some of the other cuts, you can hear the hi-hat. You can hear the cymbals. You can hear his drums better. You can hear all the instruments better. The vocals are pretty darn good as well. They've done something to this, but they've made the audio much improved. I love it. So, folks, think about it. You want to get even just a general idea of what it was like to actually be there. What was this like? to see it in full color. Here's your chance to get a little taste of it. Albeit, it's not like actually being there and seeing the Beatles in color live in front of you, but folks, we'll never have that opportunity again. So why not take advantage of some cool little DVDs here? The Beatles Washington in color and the Ed Sullivan Show in color. All episodes of Sullivan on two disc, two DVDs, and Washington on one DVD. Give it a shot, folks. You have nothing to lose. See what you think. I hope you enjoyed this. Appreciate you all being here. And remember, I'm Matthew Street, and I'm a vinyl nerd and a Beatles nerd, and I'm proud of it. Take care, everybody. Bless you. Bye-bye.